New question, the member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. My question is to the Premier as well. Generally, does not mean the sale of Hydro One. <laughs> Premier, this morning we outlined three key points that worry our caucus about the Liberals' fire sale of Hydro One. First, the secrecy that is associated with this sale. The decision to sell Hydro One was made without public input. And now, with the government's recent budget amendment, we found, find that it will be done in complete secrecy. No information for the public on who is making offers to purchase it. No information on the price that is being offered. And no information on the conditions attached to the purchase. Premier, why won't you come clean with your true motives behind this fire sale? Thank you. Minister of Energy. Minister of Energy. Mr. Speaker, we've said consistently the true motive is to reposition assets that we have to invest in infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, there are tremendous infrastructure deficits across the province and across Canada, Mr. Speaker, and it's important that we invest in those. The proceeds from this sale, significant amount of them, Mr. Speaker, will go in to build infrastructure. Without raising taxes, Mr. Speaker, Remember from Stormont, without raising more debt, Mr. Speaker, and without cutting programs, Mr. Speaker. It's the right thing to do, Mr. Speaker. That's why we're proceeding with it. We said in our budget 2014, the we are going to our assets. We identified the energy agencies as well as others, Mr. Speaker. We're going ahead with our agenda, Mr. Speaker. We're making a difference for people in this province. We're creating economic development and we're creating quality of life yes, with our investments in infrastructure. Thank you. Supplementary. In February 2013, you said it was the wrong idea. It's no wonder nobody believes a word they hear from that. Yeah. Secondly, the sale of Hydro One is a bad policy decision. Whether the government owns of economic development. or 14 per cent, the fact remains the same. It is not a majority stake, and they will no longer have control. Yep. The majority will do what is in the best interest of their bottom line, not the best interest of Ontarians. Hydro One is a natural monopoly. There is no alternative. People don't have to have a choice if they don't like their service. The people will pay what the majority owners demand. Premier, why won't you stop the fire sale and make sure this natural monopoly, this hard, the sale of this natural monopoly does not harm Ontarians? Minister. Mr. Speaker, we've taken tremendous care to protect the interests of the ratepayer and the taxpayer, Mr. Speaker. The member from Hamilton East Stony Creek and the member from the P and Carleton come to order. Finish, please. Mr. Speaker, there are allegations that are made without basis. The structure going forward, Mr. Speaker, is to ensure that no other shareholder will have more than 10 percent interest uh, in Hydro One, Mr. Speaker. We put protections in in terms of the board of directors. Uh, in terms of protecting the appointment of the directors and requiring two-thirds vote, Mr. Speaker, which will include the Member provincial Bruce government and all significant major decisions, Sir. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, they will choose to ignore almost everything that's in the legislation, and they will spin, Mr. Speaker, uh, items that have no relevance at all with respect to the way we are proceeding. Mr. Speaker, they have a policy that would privatize OPG and Hydro One. They have a new leader who wants to privatize government agencies, the Mr. From Speaker. Dufferin, they can't have it both ways, Mr. Thank Speaker. Yes, and final supplementary. The minister has had more positions on the sale of Hydro One than there are police investigations going into that party. The third, and our caucus has brought this up time and time again, the problems created with the lack of independent oversight are frightening. Public oversight of Hydro One ends this week, not when a majority is sold, in fact, before a single share is sold. As the budget is written, all public oversight the day it disappears the day the budget receives royal assent. Clearly, that is wrong. Sneaky. No more investigations into the billing complaints. No more information into your smart meter boondoggle. The details of the sale are being hidden, and so will all the problems that come with Hydro One. Premier, don't you agree the public has a right to know what's going on with the sale of Hydro One? I'll ask you once again, will you not remove this bad sale and any reference Thank to you. it from your budget bill? Thank you. Minister. 
Speaker, it's interesting to note in their version of privatization, they said quite clearly the ratepayer will be protected by the Ontario Energy Board, Mr. Speaker. The rate will be protected, Mr. Speaker. The reality is, moving forward, we have protections for the ratepayer, and, and furthermore, Mr. Speaker, they know, they know very, very well that moving forward, there will be an opportunity for Hydro One to expand business, to be a growth business, at the same time as they're protecting ratepayers, Mr. Speaker. We will always have 40% interest, Mr. Speaker. We have, we have Danny Dozatel, we have Danny Dozatel, the former Auditor General, Mr. Speaker, who has indicated. Finish, please. Speaker, Mr. Denny Dozotel, the former Auditor General of Canada, is overseeing the implementation of an ombudsman in the Hydro One Corporation, Mr. Speaker. Answer. They also know, particularly some on the front benches, the Ontario Securities Act and the Ontario Securities Commission have tremendous protections for all Thank public you. companies, publicly traded companies, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.